previously on Home and Away. I'm sick of feeling like the prize heifer. Oh, come on. No one thinks of you like that, Nicole. Yeah, well, that's how they make me feel. Look, I just need to get out of here and I need time to think. What if Nicole changes her mind and decides not to give us the baby? What did she say, though? No, but it's not saying Mrs. Bellingham hasn't already put the idea in her head. Disgraceful. I know. Pretty amazing, hey? Amazing? What do you think keeps them all together? Oh, for goodness sake, Dexter, who knows what goes through their delinquent minds? Oh, oh come on. He acts like one of them, but there's something else going on there. All right. Show me you've got. Ah, little candid camera. Eh? No, no. Yeah, let's see how you like it. Good morning, everyone. Take your seats, please. Dexter Walker didn't come home after school yesterday. His father is here today, and as you can imagine, this is a very difficult time for him and his family. If anyone knows where Dex is, now is the time to speak up. OK, we have a witness who remembers seeing Dexter on the beach yesterday around 4 p.m. Now I'm hoping that someone can confirm that or might have seen him later on in the day. OK, what I want you to do then is think about the very last time that you spoke with Dex. What did you talk about? Did he say anything unusual or mention any plans? Anything at all? The smallest detail might be of help to us. Why were you so interested in Dex yesterday? I told you. Sorry, I'm filming me. And you came to me about it? Yeah, so. So that's not how you guys operate. I've seen it. If there's a problem, you go to each other and you do something about it. You don't know what you're talking about. You did something. I didn't do anything. Then who did? If something's happened to him, you have to say something. Come on, man. He's my girlfriend's brother. Look, I don't have to do anything. Now shut your mouth or I'll shut it. Yeah, go on, then. Shut my mouth. Romeo, Casey, what's going on? Go on, tell her. 